YouTube, listen, check it out. Check it out. Today, in this video, we are cutting a waiver. But before I get into that, all right, I want to definitely take a minute to shout out my brand real quick. All right, I don't do enough of promoting on my brand like I should. All right, so this basically is the Yeezy inspired, Yeezy 700 inspired 360 Jeezy brush. This is the all black one, matte black. This is classic, medium, hands down, the best brush in the wave game. I'm going to call it like I see it. I'm going to call it like I, you know what I'm saying? Because I created it, made for a waiver, by a waiver. And uh, yeah, man, it's just clean. This one I came out with because black can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's a classic look. With this one, I wanted to get in my creative bag. All right, you see the box. The box looks definitely Adidas Yeezy inspired, but I still wanted to keep my, you know what I'm saying, a signature look to the box. Hard work, dedication, motivation, consistency. The will to keep going when the going gets tough and the tough gets going. I decided to put the brush information on the inside because, you know what I'm saying, Yeezy don't have anything on the uh, back of the box. Still patent though. Still patent though, but this is what this is what the brush looks like. Definitely Yeezy inspired. Um, just wanted to get in my creative bag, man. This is this is this means a lot to me. You can get these brushes at www.360gz.com. In this video, I did a taper on a waiver. Y'all already know what I do when it comes to waivers, all right. If you don't know how to do it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. YouTube. So first things first, before you start cutting, what you want to do is comb the hair out. What this does for a waver is lifts the hair off of the scalp, making it easier for the hair to feed into the teeth of the blade. So my client wanted a 2.5 on the top. So I went ahead and grabbed my masters, put the two guard on with the lever fully open and going with the grain of his pattern, making sure I go slow. Also, when I was combing through the combing process, I was checking for any calyx that he may have. That way, you know, I don't just run through any calyx and make that side lower. everything down to the length that he wants i'm gonna start on my taper and i'm gonna start by setting him on my bald line first all right i'm gonna set my bald line right above his ear and i'm gonna do it in a rainbow like shape making sure that it's as neat as possible next guideline i'm gonna set is with my masters with the lever fully open i'm going up about a half inch following that same rainbow like shape making sure I go over the guidelines multiple times to ensure that it's at that length. Also, you wanna make sure you use the corners of that blade. That way you don't have to focus on either side of the blade. You could just focus on one side only. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my one guard with the lever open. I'm gonna go up and set that next guideline in a rainbow like shape using my corners. Even if I have to use the right side or the left side corner, 
I'm just using my corners because I don't want to focus on the other side of the blade and I want to get it as, you know, symmetrical to that rainbow like shape as possible. Next step, I'm gonna start by working my way back down because sometimes you'll realize after you're done blending all the guidelines out that that bulk isn't that bad. And also you wanna make sure that you keep the waivers uh, taper as low as possible. All right, so I got my zero guard with the lever fully closed and I'm flicking out that middle line. Now with the lever fully closed and a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Start below the line, flick to the line, and if you need to go up on the blend, adjust your lever as you go up. So now that we see that that bulk on the top isn't that bad, all I have to do is go with a number two and just kind of debulk that, those certain areas where I see bulk. You don't really need to take it any higher than what it is. Just clear out what you can. And lastly, what you want to do is detail your work. Detailing is extremely important. It separates you from just being an average barber, all right? So what I like to do when detailing, I like to refer to the mirror. The mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend than just having your eyes focused on that blend that you already did. It shows you a different way to look at it, all right? Also, if you don't have access to a mirror, you want to do is you want to take a break look somewhere else, come back to the blend and start detailing. Use your corners of the blade in areas where you see bulk and just kind of clear out those areas as much as you can. I also like to add another transition to my blend and I'm using my Stylecraft shavers just to make the bottom half razor ball. And as far as the back goes, I use the same exact steps to all my students out there, to all my beginners out there, listen, memorize your steps. This is gonna help you on increasing your speed, all right? Instead of you thinking about the next guard to use or if you're sure about this guard or that guard, this all helps with how fast you get through with the cut, all right? Because to think about what you do next, you shouldn't really be thinking, you should always be on the next move, all right? And that's how I get done in 30 minutes.
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like God did. YouTube, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you're seeing in this video, links to be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy and I'm out of here.